In North America, the Black Widow is often heralded as the most dangerous invertebrate you could come across in the wilderness. But what if I told you that there are other arthropods with venom even more toxic than the infamous Widow? I'm no stranger to venomous animals. We've worked with snakes. You're unhappy. Centipedes. What I have right here is the Caribbean giant centipede and some of the craziest spiders. This is a southern black widow, this would be a juvenile. But insects can be venomous too. And in the southeast US, there's one species that stands above the rest as the most toxic of them all, the harvester ant. I'm joining my good friend Mikey Green, a fellow wildlife educator and insect researcher in some pristine scrub habitat in South Florida where these venomous ants are known to hang out. Oh, have a look at this right here. This is a colony of Florida harvester ants. Now, I might be thinking, Spencer, they're just ants. No, they are not just ants. These animals right here are one of the most venomous insects, not just in Florida, but the world. The venom these creatures possess is actually on par, if not more toxic than the black widow spider. So you're probably saying, Spencer, well, what, what are you doing? You're laying right next to this pile of ants. Well, believe it or not, as venomous as they are, they're not very aggressive. You can see they're going all around this area hard at work. Looks like they're carrying bits of substrate and sand from the scrub environment, probably excavating different tunnels inside their colony. This colony looks fairly mature. The mound is super big and I've seen a lot of different sized major ants. Ah, look right there. That is a major. These harvester ants are the only dimorphic harvester ants in North America. There are other species that have these weird different morphs, but of harvester ants, normally they only have one. But these guys have those big headed, incredible majors. I'm gonna see if I can catch them real quick. So this right here is a Florida harvester ant major. It's probably one of the craziest looking insects I've seen in a long while. I'm actually gonna put it in my bare hand and we'll have a look at how it behaves. Now, you're asking Spencer, you just said this is the most venomous insect in Florida and one of the most venomous insects in the world. Why are you holding it? And the thing is, what I've noticed is a lot of very venomous creatures, velvet ants, black widows, brown recluse spiders, things like that, they're actually not that inclined to sting. I think to some degree, years of evolution have shown them that they have a formidable power packed within them. And if they're not directly threatened, they don't need to use it. See, that venom is still very resource intensive. And even though there's probably thousands of ants inside that colony, each individual is still going to try and conserve energy. However, what's interesting about ants is the individual doesn't have the same role as with other insect species. See, ants are eusocial animals, which means their group actually functions as one super organism. And that's kind of why they have this dimorphism in their workers. The majors are the defenders of the colony. They have a very specific role to play and those huge heads are packed full of muscle and those giant jaws are great for ripping invaders limb from limb. They're also pretty useful for carrying really heavy debris back to the colony to feed their brood. As you can see right here, this defender is actually not that defensive because I'm not doing anything that's showing it that I'm a direct threat. As far as it's concerned, I'm just a very weird smelling, funny looking tree. And it's working on a strategy to get back to the colony. You can see she's probing those antennae all around. Ants are extremely sensitive to chemical trails. They communicate with different pheromones and chemicals, and they'll actually leave trails like a chemical breadcrumb for other workers when they find food, when they find threats, and if they're just exploring. It helps them find their way back to the colony and helps other ants find them. Wow, look at that. I haven't featured nearly enough ants or other hymenopterans bees, ants, and wasps on the channel, but I'm super happy to be able to work with a Florida harvester ant in the wild. And this scrub environment is full of all kinds of fascinating ant species. So next time you're in your kitchen and see an ant, I hope you'll think twice about squishing it because they're such interesting little creatures, such bizarre behavior, and a really unique biology that no other animal really follows. And they're a pivotal part of the ecosystem all around us with so many roles to play. So I'm gonna just sit here and appreciate a fleeting encounter with a bizarre creature from the secret world. Absolutely love it and a real treat here in Florida. As is pretty usual, animals like this that possess an incredible toxic power 
are not all that inclined to use it if they don't feel like they have to. The Harvester Ant may possess a venom more toxic than that of a widow, but this major worker was an absolute sweetheart, and I received exactly zero stings on this adventure. Now, delving into the world of dangerous insects, there is one insect, a member of the true bug family, that has quite the human kill count. If you want to learn more about the dangerous kissing bug, check out this video right here. Hope to see you there, but until next time, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.